Today I'm continuing the series of Net Your Rose videos. This is the second part and I'm going to be concentrating on the software setup um, of the Net Your Rose development tool, specifically installing the tools that come on the Net Your Rose software development disk and hopefully deploying them as uh, compiled executables to the Net Your Rose PlayStation itself. Just uh, a couple of changes from the first video, and you can see the PlayStation back there. The USB to serial converter cable didn't actually work. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get a, a communication between the PC and the PlayStation. So I had to buy this. You can see that. It's an actual PCI uh, serial port that I've connected directly to the uh, PC's motherboard and that is on uh, COM1 and I can successfully get a connection between the PC and the PlayStation. To test the connectivity between the PC and the PlayStation I'm using a free to download application called Putty. What this does is allow me to do a quick connection on a serial point. So that's COM1. Click open. And as you see there, CIP version 2, communication board rate 9600. That shows that I've made a connection. Just to verify that, I'll hit enter. Uh, sorry, question mark and then enter. And then that returns the PlayStation debug monitor. Uh, that has a number of tools that you can use. So I'll just check that board right again. 9600. If there's no output at this point, um, it may mean that you've got an issue with the communication between the PC and the PlayStation. But if you see that output, then you should be good to go. Close that down. In the CD-ROM, there are a number of directories. I've copied these across to the C drive. Uh, there's a directory called doc, which contains PDF versions of the booklets that come with the development toolkit. So I'll use these PDFs from now on. Just open that up. The key directory is the PSX. This contains uh, utilities, uh, sample executables and so on. It's important to look at this file, djsetup.bat. This lists a number of parameters that are required before successful deployment from the PC to the PlayStation can take place. Most of them are set for you. Uh, you only need to change these if you've changed, say, the drive letter of where you've ins uh, you know, copied the CD-ROM contents to. Uh, the IRQ settings and baud rate settings are down here. One thing to keep in mind is that all the utilities are 16-bit applications, most of them from 1996, 1997. In order to run them on a 64-bit operating system such as Windows 10, you need to use something like DOSBox, that's what I'm using, which allows 16-bit applications to run in a 64-bit environment. So what I'll do here, I'll just uh, mount the C drive. Let's ignore that warning. I'll go into the PSX directory and I'll run DJ setup. Um, so that's run successfully. There's a tool called Siocons, which is a another communications utility. It is used to deploy and um, run the executables on the PlayStation. So I'll just test connectivity with Siocons there. Yeah, so the two double arrows show that there's a successful connection. Just escape to come out of that. Uh, first of all, I'll go into a directory called CD Quick, and I'll just do a brief Hello World program deployment to the PlayStation. 
Uh, this shows nothing more than the, the, the text hello world, but it proves that you A, got connectivity and B, you can deploy uh, executables to the PlayStation. So I'll run Psyocons again. I'm going to press F3. And there's a batch file in that directory that basically loads the executable and then runs it. Batch zero. So you can see there the executable being deployed to the PlayStation. And you see the hello world text being displayed. So nothing complicated, just, just a way of proving that you can deploy an executable to the PlayStation from the PC. Okay, so if I look in this sample program section of the startup guide, uh, one of the first steps is execute make. I didn't need to do it with the hello world application because it had already been um, compiled, uh, but the there's a more sophisticated bouncing ball application that I want to deploy. So first of all I need to make the executable. Um, I need to compile it and link it correctly as it says in the text here. So I'll go back to my, Sio, uh, my DOS box. I'll come out of Syrocons and I'll go into CD sample and check. And in there I just want to type make, which is a 16-bit utility and it should compile and link the files correctly. Okay, so I can just confirm that by going into sample and check and seeing that there is a main executable that has just been modified, that's fine. So I'll go back into DOSBox. And what I'm going to do here is F3, sorry, Syocons, then F3, get ahead of myself, and I'm going to type in auto, and this should deploy the bouncing ball program to the PlayStation. some sound on that as well. Uh, by pushing up, down, on the PlayStation Joypad, I can increase the number of balls there, or decrease. And I can pause it as well by pressing L1. And then end the program by pressing select. So that's just two programs, Hello World and the Bouncing Ball program, that show that there's connectivity between the PC and the PlayStation that I can use the 16-bit applications to make or compile the um, base files and just as importantly I can then deploy using Syrocons to the PlayStation. Thanks for watching.